Okay, this is the basic look of candy canes in the snow. When you first apply it, there's a parameter here that allows you to change the pattern angle of the candy cane. If you don't like the default setting. Uh, by default, this will fade in and fade out at the ends, but you can just flip that option there and it'll just become a normal lower third. So I designed a drop shadow designer in this effect and if you turn it on you've got like this target here and if you center the on-screen control on the target you will just reset the shadow as a normal drop shadow. But this allows you to add a kind of a lighting effect to it. And you can pretty much drag this anywhere on the screen you want to, but the recommended range is inside this rectangle. And this little control here will set, well, it's called perspective. So that you can either have a normal aspect on the shadow, or you can distort the top so that the shadow expands like that and actually you can take this kind of to an extreme here so it looks like the light is coming directly over the type and casting its shadows in the snow these are the other shadow controls, the regular drop shadow controls, the color, the opacity, the blur, and the distance and angle. So that you can align it however you want. and make an effect like that. So moving on to the snow, let's turn the shadow designer off. All of these parameters from snow parameters down, this is just a spacer here to separate the snow parameters. It doesn't do anything. You have accumulation. And you can animate that. It's positive and negative. You have a powder setting. You can spread out the snow, or you can collapse it all together like that and create kind of a frost pattern. Now let's just go all the way, like frosted glass or something like that. These layer strength parameters down here, they'll let you modify the effect of the 3D look of the snow, basically. Usually, the snow will be something like something else. Oh, let's take the paddle down, accumulation, let's get it like that. Okay. And these are just things you'll have to play with to get it kind of a look that you want. There's a glow here. To help out with the effect a little bit. And this little parameter here, the snow drift, is kind of cool. Because if you animate that from like beginning here... I'll set a keyframe and then move to the end and set another keyframe to say there. I'll render this real quick so it plays smoothly. It's a little fast but you get the idea. Let's add a little power.
There we go. And hope you find it useful, and I'll catch you on the next one.